What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today we are showing you this, the 2021 Retro F-150 built by TC Customs. But before we go any further in the video, I do want to let you know that TC Customs is giving away a free BDS lift kit for a 2021 Ford F-150. So if you own an F-150 that's a 2021 and you want it lifted, all you have to do is go to tccustoms.com forward slash giveaway and we will be giving one person, one lucky person, a lift kit there. So make sure to check that, that link down below. So without further ado, let's take a look at the retro truck. While there's a lot of things going on on this particular truck, let's start with the suspension, the wheels, and the tires first. So the very first thing you'll notice, this truck actually sits on a zone off-road leveling kit. Now what's very cool about that particular leveling kit is it is the sister company to BDS. So they're owned by Fox Holdings, if you will. And so the same people that research and engineer the BDS lift kits are the same people that make this zone off-road leveling kit. So it's interesting to see that. Now that is a that is a urethane leveling kit and it's going to be a very mild leveling kit so it's perfect if you don't want it to be you know uh, too level or maybe even just a little bit squatted in the back this is a great option for you as far as the tires are concerned obviously these are the bfg atko2 tires and as you can see right there on the screen they are at 33 1250 on a 17 inch wheel now what's crazy about this specific wheel itself is as i've already mentioned to you it is a 17 by 9 inch wheel it has a negative 12 offset and the official name is a 164 polished. I think it actually turns out fantastic and it's really nice to see the reintroduction of the smaller wheel back into the truck game. Keeping with the retro theme, you can see we actually opted for a new set of infab chrome step bars. Now what I like about this is it's got that tube style that was kind of known back in the 90s and the 80s and you've got this nice little area, a big surface area you can put your foot on and as you can see it's got these teeth to keep biting into your shoes so that way you're not going to slip as you get in and out of the vehicle. Now that we're already in this particular area let's talk about the big elephant in the room and that is going to the paint job. So what's so cool about this particular truck is this is not vinyl. This is all paintwork. So the first thing you'll notice is that the vehicle started out as a rapid red truck. So rapid red is the base coat and what you've got here is everything was disassembled to make sure that we were able to paint it properly. But what we did is we taped everything off, we sprayed it white in the center and all over the vehicle as you can see right there. And then the next thing that they did is they clear coated over everything to make sure that it's got a nice seamless so you can't even feel the tape line all the way around the vehicle. It is a fantastic uh, paint job in my opinion. Now a couple of other things that we've actually learned from years past is that the help with these bushwhacker fender flares actually helps clean up the paintwork a lot. Now one of the easiest things to do is to lay a straight line. That's easy to tape that off. But when you're starting to try and tape off a perfect curve, it really does throw some wrenches in it. So the fact that we've got these bushwhacker fender flares, it really does help make sure that it's a perfect curve all the way through. And you're not having to worry about taping a perfect curved line uh, if you don't go with the bushwhacker fender flares. And also the pocket style really does go a long way in helping that retro theme. Next up, let's talk about the MagnaFlow exhaust system. I love this exhaust system. And as you guys know, we've partnered with MagnaFlow exhaust and this one has got the uh, chrome tips on them. But keep in mind the TC Customs, if you're looking for something that, that with a black exhaust tip from MagnaFlow, TC Customs has the private label manufactured part from MagnaFlow. So if you're interested in picking up a black tip MagnaFlow exhaust, system. We do have those currently in stock. It fits the 15 through the 2021 models and uh, I'll have those linked down for you below. But nonetheless, this is going to be the after the tire MagnaFlow exhaust system. I like this setup because it retains the factory resonator. So if you're looking for a grumble, but you're not wanting to go deaf, this might be the best option for you. Uh, Roush also uh, in the years past for the 15 through 20 made a really great exhaust system that looked almost identical, but it was extremely loud. It's fantastic. And if you like extremely loud, that's the exhaust system for you, but not everybody likes extremely loud. This is really a good mix of tone without having to go deaf on long road trips. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and have a listen.
All right, coming to the back of the vehicle, I'm going to show you a couple of different things. The very first thing I want to show you the paint work on the rear. So as you can tell, we have to disassemble the actual Ford emblem. You can see we're going to have to end up pulling out uh, the, the taillights. It's very involved to repaint a vehicle a different color. Uh, but nonetheless, once again, there is no actual tape line because they painted it and then clear coated over everything. Now, the next thing I want to showcase to you is a couple different things. You actually have the remote tailgate release. So you can either hit the button here or double tap here. Here, and it will automatically release the tailgate. This is an XLT trim level. We're going to cover that here in just a second, but it allows for the release on this particular tailgate. Now, if you have the Lariat with the power tailgate, you can actually power it up as well, which is a really, really neat trick. This is the Roland Lock M-Series bed cover, and it is absolutely fantastic. It's one of our best selling bed covers right behind the hard trifle bed cover. One of the things I love about it as you can see, this is a metal top to it. It's got small metal slats that allows you to, when you turn this piece right here, you push it forward. And as you can see, it slides right up out of the way. And as you can see, the drum in the bed of the vehicle is very small. So it's gonna allow for more space inside the vehicle itself. And to make it easy to get the vehicle or to get the tonneau cover back, you just simply pull it. Oh, and by the way, did you hear that clicking? It actually has stopping points, so if you want to leave it halfway open while you're hauling something, you have that ability. So as I pull it all the way closed, you can actually see here as well, there is a keyhole as well. So it is a fully locking tailgate. And the benefit to this locking tailgate, whoops, the, the benefit to this locking tailgate is that as you come in and close the tailgate, you can still open and close the tailgate without having to unlock the bed cover each time. So that is a huge benefit, in my opinion, that you can lock it, keep it locked, open and close it, and you're not having to unlock this every time you want to open up the tailgate. All right, coming on to the inside of the vehicle itself, you're going to notice a couple of different things. As I've already mentioned to you, this is the XLT trim level. So from the Ford factory, because it has the 302A equipment group, it has the massive 12-inch touchscreen system to it, and this is the Sync 4. So you get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a fantastic setup. You also have your center console, which just like the previous generation is absolutely massive. This one does not have it option, but you also happen to have an interior work surface available that flips open and you have have a nice big flat spot that you can basically eat your cheeseburger or work on your laptop, whatever you need to. Now, the other thing that you'll notice is the leather seating in this system is not standard. This is something that we actually opted for here at the dealership for the customer that already bought this vehicle. Now, as you can see, this has got the, the silver interior as well as the uh, darker gray or almost a black style leather on the outside. And then you've also got the red stitching and the red piping. I think it's a nice amount of contrast, meaning that this lighter gray does match this lighter gray located right here on the rest of the interior. The darker gray does match the darker gray on the Ford factory interior as well. And then obviously the red matches the red on the exterior. So although there are a lot of colors going on on these seats, everything matches the rest of the vehicle. Now I wanna talk about the next thing. This is going to be an actual sensor that is the yaw sensor for the actual trailer backup assist, pro trailer backup assist. So the Pro Trailer Backup Assist has actually been in vehicles for a while now. I think they introduced it in the 2016 F-150. And with the placement of a sticker on your trailer, the, the truck can actually back up the trailer for you. Meaning that if you turn this little knob located right here, you turn it to the right, as you're backing up with the trailer, it automatically will do the steering for you so that way the trailer goes to the right and vice versa with the left. Now this setup actually allows you to eliminate the need for those stickers on the trailer. This is actually a sensor that you'll mount to permanently mount to your trailer itself and so that way the camera in the truck is not looking for that sticker it's actually noticing and recognizing the sensor allowing you to use the pro trailer backup assist a lot more seamlessly it's a much better implementation of the technology but keep in mind the sticker is still available if that's something that you want to do in the back seat you'll notice that ford is absolutely known for their rear leg room so this has obviously got the solid rear bench seat now a couple of things that i want to point out to you is that the theme for the leather is also carried into the back seat of the vehicle. So you've got the lighter gray that matches the lighter gray in the roof. You've got the darker gray that matches everything else and then also that red piping and red stitching. But one thing that I absolutely love about the actual Ford is you can lift it up with one finger basically and uh, you can also pull it back down with these little locking tabs right here. You pull that and you can load it back down. But what's so nice about this particular setup is that when you open both of these seats up with the seats just a little bit 
farther forward. You have got so much room back here, you can just about do a tap dance. But nonetheless, I want to talk about some of the other feature and creature comforts in the back seat of this F-150. Even though this is an XLT, it has a ton of options. So as you can see, you've got your dual cup holders. A lot of people don't realize it, but the cup holder in the middle, that square looking thing, is intended for juice boxes for your kids. So uh, if you're a Doug DeMiro fan, that's a nice little quirk that they've added. Ne next up, you do have the 12 volt power outlet. And because this one is opted for, you do have a 400 watt outlet in the back of the vehicle, as well as a USB-C and a USB-A port to make sure that everybody's devices are charged. I almost forgot a couple of extra cup holders. So in the door, you have a cup holder located here and here as well. So if you're doing the math, you actually have three up here in the center console. You have two on that side and then two on that side. If my math is right, that's seven cup holders for the three rear passengers. Hopefully you got enough cup holders. Looking underneath the hood of the vehicle, we're gonna showcase the actual powertrain for this particular F-150. And as you've probably already guessed by the exhaust note, this particular truck does feature the 5.0 V8 naturally aspirated. Now, a couple of cool technologies. This is not just a carryover engine from the 2020 model into the 2021. This one is heavily designed off of it, but it does feature a lot of new technologies, one of which being a cylinder deactivation, a very cylinder deactivation. So in the past, you've got people like GM that have done cylinder deactivation, but it was on a dedicated cylinder or dedicated cylinders. And what happened is over the course of time, that did cause some oil uh, consumption issues. Now, from what Ford is telling us is this, this is variable. So it can actually change which cylinder is actually gonna be uh, deactivating, hopefully evening out the entire engine and thus you know, extending the life of the motor as well. So there you go. That is what's going on underneath the hood of the vehicle. Now keep in mind that this particular vehicle is not equipped with it and it's really not a, a retro style option. So I wouldn't have expected it to even if it was available, but that is going to be a supercharger from Roush Performance and word on the street is Whipple also has a supercharger in the works as well. So interesting stuff there. And there you have it. That is the 2021 Ford F-150 Retro built by TC Customs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're feeling like being awesome, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. It does go a long way in helping promote this video to other people just like yourself. So we appreciate that. If you haven't already done so, make sure you check out that BDS lift kit giveaway that we're doing. Once again, links down below, but it's TC Customs dot com forward slash giveaway free registration if you have a 2021 f-150 you need to make sure you register for that free giveaway it's going to be absolutely epic and if you haven't already done so make sure you are subscribed to the youtube channel with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video peace